Thank you, Senator Lyons. Senator Canavan. Thank you, Mr. Acting Deputy President. And uh, unfortunately, it's, uh, this is not question time; uh, it's statement time. So I, I can't ask Senator Lyons uh, some questions, but um, or get answers at least. But I uh, would still like to put some rhetorical ones on the record because I listened to Senator Lyons, and she was saying that it's unacceptable for a, uh, uh, for Justice Hayden to accept an invitation to a Liberal Party organised uh, event. Well, the question, the, question I have, the question I have through you, Chair, to Senator Lyons is order, if that is a order. problem, if it's such a scandal uh, for that to be accepted, why was it OK? Why was it okay for Justice Kirby to deliver the Neville Randall lecture in 2008, organised or established by the Labor Party? Why was it okay while he was a sitting serving High Court judge? Why was that okay? Why was it okay that Michael Kirby addressed the Australian Society for Labor Lawyers while he was on the New South Wales Court of Appeal? Uh, why was it okay that Mary Gordon, also as a High Court Justice, addressed the same body? Why was it okay that Michael McHugh, while he was on the New South Wales Court of Appeal, addressed the Australian uh, Society for Labor Lawyers? Why was it okay for ACT chief justices and chief magistrates to address the same body? Why was it okay for Justice Geoffrey Spender, while he was on the federal court, to similarly address the Australian Society for Labor Law Lawyers? What we have here, Mr Acting Deputy President, is, uh, is, is blatant hypocrisy uh, from the Labor Party. And we have that hypocrisy because this is not about Justice Hayden. This is not about uh, 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 this particular event. Uh, what this is about is it's a desperate ploy from a desperate union movement in hock with a desperate political party to distract attention from the disgraceful conduct of union members and officials exposed by this Royal Commission. That's what this is all about today. It's all a distraction technique. I'm a father of four kids and I know distraction techniques well. When you don't like what your children are doing, when you don't like if they're crying or they're whinging or behaving badly, you distract them. You try and distract attention from them to put something else in their face or do something. It's exactly what the Labor Party are trying to do here. Because they don't like what's going on down there. They don't like what's happening at the Royal Commission. So they're trying to distract attention from it. Uh, and that is what they're trying to do. And at the great cost uh, to the Australian people uh, and to good public policy in this area. Because I haven't seen uh, uh, the Labor Party introduce uh, or, or state that there's a matter of public importance about the conduct of union officials uh, while I've been here. It's this time in our chamber uh, is a time for opposition and minor party parties to, uh, to, to state what they view are the public what they view are the important issues facing the public and that we can debate them here in this chamber during this time. And the Labor Party, I haven't seen them put up one, one matter of public importance about how, how it's important that union officials be subject to high levels of pr propriety and good conduct. I haven't seen the minor parties either put up uh, uh, motions, uh, which so, at least the Greens, I should say, Chair, I haven't seen the Greens put up a motion uh, to discuss and debate the conduct of union officials as they've been exposed in this Royal Commission and other uh, fora in the last few years. Because what is the bigger issue here? Is it an issue that we seem to have organised crime involved in our trade union movements? Is that an issue? Is that an issue? It's been, it's been something that the Assistant Commissioner of the Victorian Police Force has stated to the Royal Commission. Now, I don't know the Assistant Commissioner of the Victorian Police Force, but I imagine he's someone of, of good standing. And he has alleged that there is examples of organised crime and criminal conduct in our trade union movement. My question to the Labor Party, is that an issue? Do you think that's a matter of public importance? Do you think it's a matter of public importance that we may have organised crime in our, in our trade union movement? I certainly do. I think that's an extremely important issue uh, for the public to know about and debate, but it's not something that the Labor Party want to expose. It, it, it do, do, does the Labor Party think it's a matter of public importance uh, that the Royal Commission has exposed that some CFMEU officials, and in particular Mr Brian Parker and Mr Darren Greenfield, have been exposed to being involved with, uh, with Australians that have subsequently ended up fighting for ISIS? Khalid Sharouf and Mohammed Elamar were both involved with the CFMEU as well. Is that a matter of public importance? Apparently not, according to the Labor Party, because they've never brought that forward in the time available to them in this chamber? Is it a matter of public importance 
that the CFMEU regularly and consistently uh, disobeys the law on construction sites, particularly in Melbourne. Is that a matter of public importance? Because we know recently in disputes, particularly with Borrell and other organisations, other construction companies in Melbourne, that the CFMEU has disobeyed court orders uh, and continued to engage in unlawful conduct. Is that a matter of public importance? I think it is. I think it is a matter of public importance when trade unions don't obey the law, but it's not something that the Labor Party uh, seems uh, to, to want to discuss. Um, do you think it's a matter? Of, does the Labor Party think it's a matter of public importance when uh, the private details of 300 construction workers are leaked uh, for, by, by an industry superannuation fund to the CFMEU? Is that a matter of public importance? Is it a matter of public importance when John Setka makes uh, uh, makes vile and, and uh, uh, insistent uh, threats uh, to other people in his role with the CFMEU. Is that a matter of public importance? I reckon it might be. I reckon it might be. And I also think it might be a matter of public importance when people are arrested uh, for unlawful conduct. And we know at least four people have been uh, in the Royal Commission so far, and that criminal charges have been recommended against at least three uh, of the most senior officials in the CFMEU. I reckon that might be just a bit, a, a bit more important than, a, uh, than an event uh, organised for lawyers for lawyers to speak at. I think all of that con conduct might just be a little bit more important. But that's not something the Labor Party wants to bring into this chamber to debate. It's not something uh, that they're willing to have exposed, and that's why we have this desperate attempt to distract attention from this disgraceful conduct. And that's the only way you can describe this conduct. It is absolutely disgraceful. It should be condemned by every member of this chamber, and I think in their heart of hearts it would be. But it's po for political reasons, it's not something the Labor Party wants to talk about. Now, I did say at the start um, of my contribution here that. Uh, uh, surprise, surprise, uh, Labor Party lawyer groups have, uh, have organised similar functions where sitting judges, including sitting High Court justices, uh, have, 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 have spoken, have spoken at those events. That's happened on multiple occasions through you, Chair, to Senator Conroy, multiple occasions. Now, I don't think that's such a bad thing. I'm not, I'm not, I want to make clear that I I don't think it's a. It's not my idea of a of a fun night out. I'm not a lawyer, uh, and I sometimes, in a, being in a political party, many of them get sick of listening to them. To be honest, but but if, if that's what knocks your socks off, if you want to go and listen to uh, uh, a justice of the High Court or some other lawyer, go for your life. I've got no problem with that. I've got no problem with that, and I've got no problem with people being members and joining political parties in our country, be they join the Labor Party or the Greens Party or or some of the minor parties. I don't have any problem. With Australians joining political parties. Indeed, I would recommend and argue more Australians uh, should join political parties because it would be a great thing if more people took an interest in the future of our country. Whatever your views are, it's a great idea to join a political party and get involved in the battle of ideas. And some of those ideas do, do, uh, do uh, 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 circulate around matters of the law, although it's not my uh, particular. Uh, um, uh, uh, ke kettle of fish. I think it's a wrong metaphor, but I can't think of the right one. But it's not my, it's not what floats my boat. It's talking about the law. But if that's what people want to do, go for your life. And the Labor Party have done it many times, and that's great. And I think one of the most important things about this last week's debate is that clearly, clearly, uh, 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 judges and other senior legal officials in our community uh, will be less likely to accept invitations to such events after this stunt from the Labor Party and the multiple stunts they've had in the last week, they'll be less likely that these such events will be organised in the future. And I think that's unfortunate. I think it's unfortunate that fewer people will in the future be able to go to these events, uh, that fewer um, senior legal officials uh, will want uh, to, uh, uh, to discuss uh, and provide uh, their experience and wisdom uh, to the members of political parties. And our democracy uh, will be weaker for that effect. So, I um, I did listen also to uh, to Senator uh, Rice earlier uh, mention that, um, uh, in her view, this is a politically motivated uh, commission. Well, Senator Rice, through you, Chair, whatever your thoughts are on why the Royal Commission was established, there is no doubt that, having been established, it has exposed serious misconduct, which needs to be followed up, and I'm sure will be followed up. And the calls to shut it down 
are completely out of proportion and show and reveal the real reason behind why we're having this debate, because they want to cover up this corrupt behaviour.